investigation made good on his promise to listen to Republican senators. He said in a statement, this update must be limited in scope and be completed in one week. I would be happy to cooperate with the FBI, yes. Democrats have repeatedly demanded an investigation. Ford says Kavanaugh attacked her when they were in high school. Kavanaugh says that never happened. You're listening to USA Radio News. Hi, I'm Wade Allerud, and through my long-time affiliation with the Libertarian and Republican parties, I've learned a thing or two about how politics and the economy really work. The writings on the wall and all sides point to a major shift in investing as we know it. Six different silver coins from major mints around the world. Well, we have the idea of investing as well. 885 gold. That's 885 gold. That's 800. 885. MyPillow.com, you can get four. MyPillow.com, enter promo code US. For half off, go to MyPillow.com, click on the Poor Pack Special, enter promo code USA, but do it now. China takes up the globalism mantle at the UN. More from USA's Rick Vincent. At the United Nations Friday, China positioned itself as a defender of internationalism that's keeping promises while the U.S. is backing away from them. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi says through an interpreter, State-to-state -state relations must be based on credibility, not willful violation of should be by ruse, not the impulse. The Chinese foreign minister denies his country is trying to eclipse the U.S. as a world leader. For USA Radio News, I'm Rick Vincent. Facebook says hackers were able to get the personal info of nearly 50 million users. Wired Magazine's Nick Thompson explains. It happened through the interplay of three bugs. It was by looking at these three bugs, they were able to take over people's accounts. So, how do you know if you were hacked? The first clue is whether you have to log back into Facebook because they logged everybody out and reset them. Secondly, Facebook will put a little announcement at the top of the news feed saying, important security update. You're listening to USA Radio News. Now you can fly anywhere in the world and pay discount prices on your airline ticket. A lot less guaranteed. Call the International Travel Department right now at low-cost airlines. 800-215-5141. 800-215-5141. That's 800-215-5141. As the death toll continues to rise from Friday's 7.5 earthquake in Indonesia, experts believe the tsunami claimed more lives than the actual earthquake. John Clemens has more. Officials say there are many victims as the tsunami swept away homes in at least two cities and that entire families are reported missing. I spoke to Bob Smearback, the chief meteorologist at AccuWeather in State College, Pennsylvania, about that tsunami. The tsunami that was reported in Indonesia had about a three-meter uh, tsunami wave, 10 feet, that impacted the coast, and that's high enough to really do a lot of damage to anything that's located near the sea, near the coast. I'm John Clemens. It's time to celebrate America's most popular hot beverage. With more, here's USA's Chris Barnes. One cup of coffee. Saturday, National Coffee Day, with plenty of places to score a free or discounted cup of joe. From Cinnabon to Circle K, Barnes & Noble to Dunkin' Donuts and Krispy Kreme, many of the offerings at those places won't even require a purchase. Coffee giant Starbucks, well, it's not giving away any beverages, but it's using National Coffee Day to help the people of Puerto Rico. Following Hurricane Maria, as the company is donating 2 million coffee seeds to help the island territory rebuild. For USA Radio News, I'm Chris Barnes. For USA Radio News, I'm Wendy King. As a small business owner, there's one word that you absolutely dread, payroll. For small businesses, it's a big burden. You may think you're saving time and money doing it yourself. But come on, are you? Timesheets, processing checks, calculating taxes, a total waste of your time. Paychecks simplifies payroll processing, saving you time and money. Submit your payroll online, fax it in, or call your dedicated paychecks.
The IRS issues out 8 million penalties a year. Make one mistake and you're on the hook. On average, you're losing nearly one business day every month doing payroll. That's time and money you'll never get back, unless you get paychecks. More than half a million small businesses already do. Call 877-649-5324. Trade payroll pressure for peace of mind. Call now. 877-649-5324. That's 877-649-5324. Welcome to the Garden America Show, the country's most listened to gardening program. This is your chance to join us as we talk about gardening, horticulture, landscaping, in fact, anything that has to do with the world of gardening. The phone lines are open right now at 1-855-424-9825. That's 1-855-424-9825 for your questions and comments. Or John gardenamerica.com and if you're watching us on facebook live you can also post your questions and comments right there on our page during the broadcast now here's brian main john bagnasco and tiger palafox on the garden america radio and media network it is a saturday morning thank you so much for being right there six minutes after the hour you are with uh, the garden america team john bagnasco i'm brian main uh you're tiger palafox and uh, we are back here for another weekend and uh, getting a little feedback in our headphones. You guys hearing that? I do hear that. I'm delayed. Am I, is my mic on? Yeah, your mic myself. is on. Yeah, your mic is on. Is it? And uh, we're hearing ourselves and we're hearing a little delay. Welcome to Facebook Live. We'll try to ignore that and see if we can, that, uh, see if we can get that fixed. Cleaned up a little bit. Seven after the hour. And again, thank you so much for joining us. Again, John at GardenAmerica.com if you have any questions or comments. Also, Facebook Live for questions and comments uh, just as well. Seven you know, what's weird is again, that I'm so hearing what you're again, saying John seven John seconds in the future. Or I, th I think I am, too. Facebook We're hearing that delay, and I'm not sure exactly. No, I'm not hearing the delay. I'm hearing well. the what's, what's coming up. That <laughs> That's before, interesting. Before you even say it. Wow, how about that? See, I knew you said that. You knew I said that. And people listening and watching are just like, what's going on? What are you guys talking about? It's always something. It's, it's always, always something. an adventure. It is. And I, I, I made mention of that this morning on Facebook wow, about the glitches and all the technology that we're working with. And uh, so that's what's happening. Uh, those of you listening on AM 1240 here in San Diego, welcome. And uh, later on uh, this afternoon, 2 o'clock, the, uh, the replay of this morning show on AM 740, John. Yeah, right now people are hearing this, uh, the same thing we're hearing. So that's something that, um, that we should take care of as soon as we can, which I know you will. Right now, people are hearing this. Uh, and uh, everybody's hearing it as well. Yeah. Even the um, our uh, studio coordinator and producer uh, the, from the mothership, the guys that keep us on the air. But um, nights. Oh, did it go away? No, it went away. John, um, back to you. Here I am. There you are. <laughs> I had something really exciting happen this week. By the way, it went away. Oh, thanks. So we figured that out. Just fixed. Yeah. Did you? Did you? I say fixed. You know, I put I, I I put something on Facebook this morning about thank you for your patience and all that as far as all the glitches and technical things that we're doing. This is rather recent technology, so every week it, it's kind of like going back to school and exactly. learning and, and fixing yeah, things. Yeah, exactly. and you spoke too soon. Cause I did. It's back, yeah. <laughs> anyway, John. I, yeah, you had something really exciting happen. After 12 years, I have buds on my blue amaryllis. Ooh. Planted it from seed 12 years ago. For Christmas, Bruce and Sharon gave me three seeds. They cost $10 a seed. Mm -hmm. And I think two of them germinated. I gave one to Sharon. She killed it. And I... Didn't you just recently give it to Sharon, though? Like oh, I gave her. Year? Then I gave her another one. Oh, okay, okay. I was going to say. Yeah, no, I gave her another one to replace that one. But it usually takes about 10 years before they bloom. And so I'm really excited to see the buds. Yeah. You know, it, they're not open yet, but uh, I imagine this coming week they'll be open. Now, is it going to be? Now it should bloom every year after this. And I know blue amaryllis are not an amaryllis, right? Right. They're a worslia. Right. How long will it hold its blossom, it though? Because amaryllis can hold their blossoms for long periods of time. I have no idea. You don't know? No, because I've never seen one well, in person. Would you better keep your eye on it, then? Because what if it's one of those things that blooms at night, and then it just shrivels up in the morning? 
Huh? I had no, I some. Uh, like every year after and I you don't look too worried. I would be worried if I were you. You've Amarillo, got 12 right? years invested into this, right. John. Well, sleep next to it. It it doesn't open to, at, at night. It's not a night bloomer, so right. I can see it during the day. I definitely will check it every day. <laughs> but I'm pretty excited about it. That is exciting. It is, yeah. You better take a, can we just set a live stream video camera on it that can just watch it bloom like an owl boxer? Uh, you know what? What you know, like the zoos put them in their little panda birthing unit. We'll just watch this amaryllis bud. Yeah, or one of those. Uh, what's the time photography called? Slow. But I'm pretty excited. No, time lapse. Time lapse. That's it. Well, because I'm in in the gardening business, I was going to call it time release. Time release. Slow release. Yeah, slow release. I know it's not time release. Yeah. You know, I wonder if I shut down my Facebook, if that'll make a difference. Mm, no. Nope, didn't make a difference. <laughs> it's something on Brian's end. Time lapse? Yeah, I just don't know where we are. <laughs> the nice, hey, nice thing about this is that we can critique the show immediately. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Not like it's annoying in anything. Uh, so they just uh, disconnected and connected back again, and it's still there. So... Uh, we don't we know if it's on our end or the other end. So right. <laughs> as we talk and try to muddle through this, we'll try to figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to show something to the people on Facebook. Um, so this week, I, or last week, I wasn't here in the studio, but I was able to. Um, I had a thing happen. So for those of you watching on Facebook right now, you see these tomatoes that are on the screen. And they're about ping pong ball sized tomatoes. And they're red. There's a little bit of stripe going on with green stripes. But the funny thing about these tomatoes is that I grew five tomatoes in pots, took excellent care of them, gave them recipe 420 soil. Worms by rodents. Just issues with these tomatoes, and I never harvested one. Not, not a one. Not a one. And then I peeked around the corner of where my tomatoes were. They're around the shed, and I saw this huge tomato just sprawling on this little slope. Mm -hmm. Well, they're producing like crazy, like really a lot of fruit, crazy. And it's amazing to see where I took all this care of these one tomatoes, and I didn't get anything from them. But around the corner, naturally, I don't know, I don't know where the seed came from. I can't tell. Can you see? Are you looking at the Facebook live feed? I am. You see those tomatoes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what variety they are, but they had to have been from when a rodent ate one of my other ones and then you know obviously and th that is your hand for reference right yeah yeah that's my hand so they're like they're like ping pong ball sized tomatoes they're not cherry tomatoes or, or grape but they're not you know beefsteak or anything like that either um and they're delicious and they're good i still keep getting a lot of tomatoes off of them i thought that was just a hilarious thing because even sometimes as the gardener that you can be it's it's interesting that, that, that you don't always have control. Yeah, yeah, that's my hand. So like, <laughs> yeah, like but I thought that was a fun story. And do you, can you kind of see a variety right there, John, in that tomato? Do you think you know what that variety is? No, I don't. No, I can't no, tell either. It came up from a seed. It's just it could a be seedling tomato. Yeah, so could be anything. Could be anything. But so I thought that was a fun story. I was able to share that with everyone. We got a message from on Facebook from Sandra in Sussex County, Delaware. She said that she's putting her hyacinths in the refrigerator. And I was thinking, the first my first thought was, well, you don't need to refrigerate hyacinths if you're in Delaware. Uh, but then she said it was for forcing indoors. Oh. So you do need to, to yep. refrigerate them if you want them. Sussex uh, County, Delaware. That used to be a big thing back when I lived in Michigan, is people would always force, um, you know, here in California, we usually will force Narcissus paper whites, uh, but not so much the other bulbs, occasionally. But back in uh, cold areas where they really want something to look at during the, during the summer or during the winter months, 
kids trapped in their homes. Yeah, they they do. They'll do everything from tulips to hyacinths uh, you know, now, to California, paper whites, but and of course amaryllis. But I think probably hyacinths are really popular because of the fragrance. Mm-hmm. Same with the paper white, paper white. Says, even though some people think that's overpowering. Do they have to do anything with light? Meaning, is there enough window light during those months for it, or do they have to put them in a in a area where there's maybe some artificial light that they get? Because I know that sometimes it can get dark for long periods of time there if you have overcast days and stuff. Yeah, but the sun still comes out during the day. Yeah, but well, I mean, I don't know. I'm not if yeah, they have you know well, a long period of clouds, light's not really important for bulbs. No. They don't need it. No, not if. Not if they're going to be forced, because usually once they're forced, you throw them away. Okay. So, you know, building up a new bulb for the following years is not, not as important. Okay. Yeah, but so. Okay, so uh, during the break, I'm going to go back in the back room, into the engineering room, and double-check and make sure the settings are right. Okay. And uh, we'll go from there. And then we'll, we're going to have Melinda Myers. Melinda Myers, I think, talking is full locked, bulbs. And maybe you might need to start over again. Okay. Or at least take us off Facebook Live, and we'll see if it's still there. Got it. And then get back on after the break. That's what's happening. Be patient. Thank you so much. Uh, John Bagnesco, I'm Brian Main, Tiger Palafox. We're going to step aside, take a break. Uh, Melinda Myers, ready to go. So uh, thank you for joining us on this uh, Saturday morning. Brian Main, John Bagnesco, Tiger Palafox. This is Garden America. And maybe you might need to start over again. Do you love your... He doesn't have this. your tax debt and if you owe more than twenty thousand dollars you may be at the top of their hit list so don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own the irs can seize your bank accounts your home and even shut down your business call our tax experts today at 1-800-285-4765 and let us deal with the irs while you focus on your business that's 1-800-285-4765 again 800 285 Do you have an old car sitting in your driveway? How would you like to learn a hassle-free way to get rid of it? 
speed and get a great tax donation in the process. It's real easy. One simple free call to our car donation hotline is all it takes. Call the Nishama Foundation at 800-721-6723, 800-721-6723. We'll come pick your car up for free and give you a tax donation for the full value of the car, running or not. The value of your unwanted car will go to help kids in need. It's fast and easy. Just call us and your car will be gone and on its way to helping children in 48 hours. And you get a nice tax deduction. Call the Nishama Foundation now to get rid of your car, help kids, and get a tax write-off. Call 800-721-6723. 800 800-721-6723. 800-721-6723. It's fast and easy. Just call us and your car will be gone and on its way to helping children in 48 hours. And you get a nice tax deduction. Call the Nishama Foundation now to get rid of your car, help kids, and get a tax write-off. Call 800-721-6723. King, we are back. It is uh, 22 minutes after the hour. It is uh, Brian Main, Tiger Palafox, John Begnasco. Thank you so much for being right there. Again, uh, 855-424-9825. Want to uh, give us a phone call or john at gardenamerica.com. Uh, getting Facebook up and running. You can also uh, post your questions, comments right there on Facebook as well. Okay, uh, John, your quote of the week. Okay, we are back. It is uh, 22 minutes after the hour. <laughs> It is uh, Brian Main, Tiger Palafox. Okay, Brian, the Tiger quote of the show. week is so from Albert there. Schweitzer. Again, the and he said, never say that there's so, uh, nothing beautiful in the world anymore. There's always com. something to make uh, you Facebook wonder in the shape of a tree, the trembling right of a leaf. On Facebook as well. Okay, okay uh, John, what do you, what do you think about this? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, got to be aggravating not only to okay, us, but uh, the, the, the people that are the uh, listeners and the viewers. And we do apologize because and he said, well, no idea what's going on here. Everything is the same as it normally is. So we'll we'll stay on it. Did you uh, take us off Facebook, Tiger? No, it's on. Okay, we're still on we're Facebook. Rolling. Okay, we are rolling. Yeah. So um, that's a little better, but uh, we still hear that looping. And that is what we call in the business a mixed minor. Here, which means nothing to the listeners or the viewers. So do you want to try to, uh, what do you want to do, John? what Gomer Pyle used to call surprise, surprise. Yeah, surprise, surprise, surprise. Did you take us on Facebook? No, it's on. Okay, we're still on Facebook. Okay, we are rolling. It's frustrating, I know. But, you know, gardening is frustrating sometimes, too. Yeah, my whole story. I just tried to grow five tomatoes and and didn't get anything. Anything, and that should be like gardening 101 to you. Right. Okay. So should we should we try to uh, bring on Melinda and see if we can do this, or what do you think, John? Should we uh, try to work this out? Well, 
I'm, I'm trying to think because last the time last we had Melinda on, we, we had the same problem. Well, it was, it was a different problem, but nevertheless, it, it's, it was... She was hearing herself. She was hearing herself. Yeah, and I'm back. wondering, you know, do we, which we is dare do that to her again? Right. Which is what we're, we're doing here again. So we I do have another idea. What's that? If you guys so what do you think, John? can talk, yeah. keep yeah. talking. Go get a yeah, cup yeah. of coffee. I'm, I'm going to try you're something. Gonna, so you're going to leave the studio. I'm going to leave the studio. So you guys you guys chat a little bit about gardening or something, and I'll be right back. All right. So... So we were talking about the hyacinths forcing them inside, John, last, and you were talking about refrigerating, forcing them. They don't need any light. We're going to be talking with Melinda about fall bulbs, which is Now, when I say that they don't need any, they don't need any light, no, you I mean, said they're not they going to grow in a closet. You said they can grow in a closet. You laughed at me, and you said they can grow in a closet, and that's all that matters. First of all, I would never laugh at you, unless you were trying to be funny. Uh, which you frequently do. <laughs> uh, but what I meant was that they don't need as much sun as they would need if they were growing outdoors. You know, room light is usually fine. Because you will get etiolated growth if there's not some light provided. Right. And uh, unless you use the vodka. Yep. Yeah. And you can do that and keep them stunned. Keep them stunted and, you know, nice, not floppy foliage. Right. And now... It's especially good for paper white narcissus. And would that help with the stem of a paper white, too, flower come straight? Oh, yeah. Also, not just the foliage? Oh, yeah. Everything stays smaller. Okay. About half the size. Okay. That it would normally get. Yeah. And for those of you that are wondering, the mix to, for this paper white martini, <laughs> just if you go online and you Google, uh, Google what? Google alcohol paper whites. No, oh, vodka. I think you know, most people use vodka. So I think if you were to say vodka paper white solution, you would find it. I've never bought a bottle of vodka in my life. No? Never. Not even as a gift? No. Nope. Wow. Why would I give somebody a gift that I was they not like be happy to, to receive? Because <laughs> you buy gifts for people, not for yourself, John. Are you hinting selfish. that you want me to buy you a bottle of I'm just saying you're very Christmas. selfish right now. Jeez. I know. <laughs> no. I'm not sure that vodka is good for people. Yeah. It's, if you're, what if you're buying it for them to grow paper whites? Because they like it. <laughs> you know, I think I did do that once, and I just borrowed some from somebody. You went across the street, and did I, I borrow a cup of vodka? I think I might have borrowed some from Sharazakawa. <laughs> oh. And I think she bought it just for that particular Just for purpose. that reason also? Yeah. What if you're That's buying funny. Because Sharon doesn't drink. I told you guys um, prior to us going on air that you know, I, think I had I seeds in my ear. <laughs> yeah. Something. What's that about? That's kind of gardening. Yeah, especially if you're trying to grow something out of your ear. Tiger asked me what kind of seeds they were. I have no idea, but my guess was cauliflower because that's how you get cauliflower ear. But, um, yeah, I've been going to the acupuncturist and having some good results on the pain in my shoulder, which is from an accident 30 years ago. So. 30 years without any relief and yeah, finally seems to be, to be doing a good job. And but the seeds in your ear are taped on to pressure idea, points. And during the day, you're supposed to press on them five or six <laughs> times and do that four or five <laughs> times a day. Yeah, going the it's supposed to help. Really? Yeah. So it's kind of like acupuncture, but you're not using needles. Right. You're just using these little seeds that you push on like a little button. Right. Exactly. Interesting. Interesting. How many? How many? How many little spots do you have these in your ear? I th I thought there were three. Okay. I there's only two left. <laughs> Not sure what happened to the third one. Well, if you have cauliflower growing out your ear, you know what happened to the third one. My wife was telling me that when she was working in the hospital. Right. That someone had a, I think it was a knee operation, how many, how many, how many spots and they got no anesthetic I, at all. I thought there that were somebody three, came in I and put acupuncture left. needles <laughs> in them and then the something in their ear. Uh, she didn't think ear, it was seeds, but anytime he ever felt any pain during the operation, he just pressed on whatever yeah. was in his ear. That's interesting. Someone had so, and he recovered. I mean, he got up and walked out of the operating room when they were all done. Yeah.
All right. Well, we got through one segment. Okay, we're going to take another break here, come back. We continue to work on it. Thank you so much for your patience as uh, we return right after this on Garden America. I mean, he got up and walked out of the operating room when they were all done. Yeah. No all right. Well, all. we got through one segment. Okay, we're going to take another break here, come back. We continue to work on it. Thank you so much for your patience as uh, we return right after this on Garden America. Segment. 6095 for your free author submission kit. Again, co- for your patience as uh, we return right after this on Garden America. Vacations, weekend breakaways, romantic interludes, or family adventures, you'll learn about unique destinations. With April. So pack your bags and join us. Attention investors. Respected names in the financial services industry are not evaluated. There will be a significant market downturn. But when? Higher interest rates and prospects of a trade war suggest the stock market direction. Subprime mortgages, which are back, could potentially devastate the real estate market as they did before. And with stocks simply overdue for a fall after this second longest bull run in history, even bullish analysts are recognizing these indicators that equities are in big trouble and have projected stock market losses up to 40 percent. You can protect your IRA or 401k for maximum safety and opportunity with physical gold and silver, as they are assets that remain which are back. State market. Call Augusta Precious Metals today at 855-858-5806. That's 855-858-5806 to get your free guide to precious metals investing. Call Augusta Precious Metals today at 855-858-5806. That's 855-858-5806 to get your free guide to precious metals investing. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-521-9579 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-521-9579 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-521-9579. 9579. That's 1 800 521 9579. Again, 1 800 521 9579. Do you owe $10,000 or more on at least two federal student loans? Then you may qualify for new programs offered by the Department. by you for loan forgiveness. If you have $10,000 or more and at least two federal student loans and currently not in then you may qualify for new programs offered by the department. Now to check your eligibility. If you have $10,000 or more and at least two federal student loans and currently not in loans, then you may qualify for new pro- programs offered by the department. Now to check your eligibility. 800-439-1588, Balance of Nature's Fruits and Veggies in a Capsule. Thousands of doctors, health specialists, and professionals recommend Balance of Nature as a way of improving their health. Listen to a few unsolicited success stories from doctors that use Balance of Nature as well. Scientific research has shown that many cancers and life diseases are treated with a capsule. Thousands of doctors, health specialists, and professionals recommend Balance of Nature as a way of improving their health. Listen to a few unsolicited success stories from doctors that use Balance of Nature as well. 
Scientific research has shown that many cancers and life diseases Thousands of doctors, health specialists, and professionals recommend balance of nature as a way of improving. Scientific research has shown that many cancers and life diseases with Oh. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825 or john at gardenamerica.com. Okay, steady as she goes. We are back. It is uh, Garden America. Brian Maine, John Bagnasco, and Tiger Pelafox. So glad that I, I wrote that little uh, little blog on Facebook this morning about uh, thanking people for their patience as we try to develop <laughs> and, and work on this new technology. This has nothing to do, though, with Facebook this morning. We think there's another problem somewhere in the board or something going on there. So we'll uh, we'll continue to monitor that, continue to moderate, monitor it. Yeah. How about that? Did I get it right the third time? Take three. Take three. <laughs> oh, boy. Or something going on there, so we'll uh, we'll continue to monitor that. Continue to moderate, moderate, monitor it. Yeah, yeah. How about that? Did I get it right the third time? Third time? That sounded so crazy because because it was not just not just a loop. It was it was echo echoed. Okay, we are back. It is, uh, let's see, 38 minutes after the hour, and I think I might have cleaned, uh, cleaned something up here. We're hearing a nice, clean broadcast. Uh, put your headphones on there, Tiger. I'm I, scared to. I, I think we're okay right now. Um, hopefully, uh, we, uh, we've, I, hopefully, I fixed it. Let's give it seven seconds. But I'm not going to give myself any credit <laughs> yet. No, give it seven seconds. So, again, 38 minutes into the program, and if we have indeed fixed our problem, we're going to get Melinda Myers back on okay. if, if she's willing to do so. Yeah, just sent her a note. So and I we'll... uh, want to thank uh, the guys back at the uh, the mothership for hanging in there and uh, working on this uh, this problem. But uh, so far, sounds very clean, sounds good, and I think we are back rolling. John, what do you think? I feel a lot better. I do feel better. The only thing that could make me feel any better would be if we were talking to Melinda. Who oh, it makes me feel so good when we talk to Melinda. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, she's one of the most knowledgeable gardeners and horticulturists in the country. Yeah, she really is. So it's always an honor to have her on the show. And definitely in the Great Lakes area, no one is any better than Melinda. So we'll, uh, we'll uh, uh, try to get her back online here. 
And, uh, boy, that was uh, that was a rough and wild uh, first 40 minutes of the show. So uh, thank you so much. If we didn't chase you away, we do appreciate your patience. Uh, we are back. Uh, John at GardenAmerica.com, also Facebook Live. Questions, comments. Phone lines are open at 855-424-9825. And um, you have more pictures uh, to put up later on on Facebook, uh, Tiger, because I, <laughs> I enjoyed looking at your tomatoes. Did you enjoy looking at my tomatoes? Along with the story that you told. Yeah. Even though we were hearing it two or three times afterwards well, in our head. That's how I know it sank in, right? <laughs> to what, make what, sure what, we understand. What is that called? When osmosis, when you just absorb it because you're just you're 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 just pounded with all of the information and everything that goes along with it. So yeah, I want to make sure it sink into you. Well, thank you so much. So I think I did uh, fix the problem here. It took a little while, but again, we thank you for your patience. John at GardenAmerica.com, Facebook Live. We are back. Going to get uh, Linda Myers back on board and uh, talk to her. Always great information with uh, Melinda Myers representing Melorganite, a product that we all use and have had uh, nothing but success uh, with that product. So, again, we want to thank Melinda for hanging in there, and we're in the process right now of getting her back. You know, in we use Melorganite when we do our landscape maintenance projects on all of the properties and it's it's an interesting thing because what you don't see is and and this might sound bad you don't always see the instant results like sometimes when you put down fertilizer but i've definitely seen the results over the lifespan of yards because it just seems the plants are 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 never struggling they're always at the right point that they should be meaning when they are growing they should they're growing when they're flowering they should they're flowering um because they they're off to a good start yeah and right. you know there's always a nutrient there for them to grab when they need it i had this new company come in and i'm not going to put it out there yet because it's brand new and meet with me today or not today um this week and they were advertising a watering system and if I can describe it, it was basically a, Just a future tube. sponsor of ours. <laughs> possibly, Maybe, huh? Get the word and, out. And possi- what what it was was you know um, that paper that you feel, but it's waxy. Yes. Um, you know, and they made it into a tube like a soaker, and it's supposed to secrete water. Okay. Well, it's supposed to be designed where there's always water running through it. Okay. And so when you always have this water running through it the roots get attracted to this tube and they latch on to it and Root, roots the will, roots, will search for water yeah, underground. yeah they find their yeah. way and so what will happen is when the roots get there now they found their water source and there's always water there but it's not soaking where you're creating a boggy mess in your soil it's just in this tube so the roots then best description would be to they suck on it like a straw okay and so when they're thirsty uh, they take able to use those in california <laughs> they take a drink <laughs> they take a drink and when they're not it's just there so water is always available to them correct water is always available to them but it's not being forced on them so like a drip system that's always secreting water yes. it creates a bog if you left it running 24 7 this is not the case because this paper-ish tube that they're in doesn't secrete water it just has water in it and you put a pressure regulator on it that's two gallons per hour kind of thing so you can, you, can, you can adjust the water flow yeah but they they want you to make it real low and um so you just have to kind of be cautious of that and, and you leave you leave it on all the time you leave it on all the time you're not going to give out the name of the system yet? Is no. Yeah, because it, it's brand new. We okay. haven't even tried it yet. and So we'll see. And hopefully, yeah. But uh, it's, a, it's a good idea. Sounds like a, a the great idea, idea sounds great. Hey, I've, yeah. got a, I've got a great idea. Okay. Why don't we go to Melinda Myers? All right. Because, because this is the most patient lady I know. <laughs> and uh, we got everything fixed. Uh, we were not going to bring her on if we still had the problem. So, uh, Tiger, I'm going to throw it to you so that you can bring Melinda on. And uh, we've got a nice, clean signal, and we are ready to go. All right. Well, one of our favorite guests to always have on the program this morning is Melinda Myers. And Melinda, I just want to start off by saying thank you for being patient with us. Thank you for for still being there for us. And we really look forward to chatting with you this morning about fall because we are in fall. We are in fall. To be specific, fall bulbs. So thank you, Melinda. Welcome to the show. Thanks. It's always a pleasure. And I was beginning to think I was the one that was causing the (laughs) Never. Actually, Melinda. Maybe we don't. 
Go, go, no, it was a problem within the board here. I've got a, a board that looks like a, a 747, and uh, sometimes oh. one little button, uh, you can look at it, and it's camouflaged, but uh, we, we did fix the problem. So, again, we thank you so much. You know, I'm looking at Facebook oh, right now, pleasure. and Melinda is looking at you, Brian. Yeah, well, yeah. that's a great She's picture. She's looking down on you. <laughs> we, we've got your picture on uh, Facebook, Melinda. That's a great shot. Well, thanks. <laughs> I always look better on Facebook than I do in person. <laughs> oh no, I doubt that. <laughs> well, well, welcome. How, what you been up to? Well, it's it's we're trying to squeeze in some videos for Melinda's guard moments and some clients, and we had our first frost out in my backyard or front yard, I should say, kind of spotty. Oh boy! So last night, like every good gardener who has frost uh, the first frost of the season you're you're running around looking for your floating row covers your sheets anything to cover those plants that you just want to give a couple extra weeks so it was it was one of those um you think every year i'd get better at this but every year i think i have another week and i'm scrambling so you know melinda we're going to take a break i hate to cut you off okay. so quickly we're going to take a break no we're going to and we'll keep you on as long as you want to be with us into the next hour, if that's the case. So, again, 855-424-9825. Questions for Melinda. Also, John at GardenAmerica.com. Better still, Facebook up and running with graphics, pictures. We take your Facebook questions and comments as well. I'm Brian Maine. We are going to take a break right after these interesting words. Do you love your home? Then show it some love at the Fall Home Garden Show this weekend at the Del Mar Fairgrounds. Tour hundreds of top quality home improvement exhibitors offering special show savings. Buy amazing plants direct from local growers. Plus, enjoy informative free seminars where you really do meet the experts. Come to the Fall Home Garden Show this weekend at the Del Mar Fairgrounds. Entertaining, innovating, fascinating, educating. Fall Home Garden Show. Having bug problems this season? Need an overall solution? Try Natural Guard Spinosad Soap. This combination of spinosad and fatty acids kills aphids, mealybugs, worms, caterpillars, and other bugs that plague your garden. It's also safe to use around your fruit and veggies to make sure you enjoy your crop and not those pesky critters. Find Natural Guard Spinosad Soap in a ready-to-use bottle or ready to spray for those large garden plots at your favorite independent garden center. Go to Fertilome.com for more information. Time change changes everything. For me, becoming a single father of two young kids, it changed my ability to use my timeshare. The frustration of not being able to use it was compounded by annual maintenance fees that nearly tripled over a three-year period. I was desperate to get out. After searching online for sell my timeshare or get out of my timeshare, it just looked like one scam after another. I needed a real, permanent, and legitimate way to get out of this for good. I'm Brandon Reed, the founder of Timeshare Exit Team. We will get you out of the timeshare you can't use or can't afford anymore. We get people out safely, legally, and permanently. We are more successful because we have more solutions. Schedule a free consultation to review your ownership situation and find the best strategy for you. If we can't get you out, we will give you a full refund. Call Timeshare Exit Team today. Call 800-929-8112. That's 800-929-8112. That's 800-929-8112. Call Timeshare Exit Team today. If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-569-3414. That's 800-569-3414. Again, 800-569-3414. Are you ready to leave your corporate job behind and be your own boss? Have you ever dreamed of owning a business? Do you have $50,000 or more sitting around in a 401k? If you answered yes, it's time to invest in yourself by buying or starting a business or franchise. IRS code allows you to use money in a 401k to invest in a business with absolutely no penalties or taxes. 
At Guided Financial, we've helped more than 11,000 entrepreneurs invest $3 billion in retirement assets into the small businesses and franchises of their dreams. So if you've got $50,000 or more in a 401k and you're looking for a way to start a business, call Guidant Financial now for free information and to learn more. Operators are standing by for your call. 800-570-6630. 800-570-6630. 800-570-6630. That's 5706630 Does your water stain and damage your fixtures? Does it smell or taste bad? Are you worried about what's in your water? Water quality should not be painful and worrisome. Get Hydrocare Water Systems from Wave Home Solutions with the most advanced purification technologies. Call Wave Home Solutions today at 1-888-989-WAVE or go to greathealthywater.com. HydroCare will eliminate lime scale that causes hundreds of dollars in damage to pipes and appliances without using salt. Well water will no longer smell or stain your fixtures. City water will be purified of harmful chlorine, lead, arsenic, and chemicals. Wave Home Solutions provides the cleanest, healthiest water at every faucet. Satisfaction guaranteed. For more information, call 1-888-989-WAVE, 1-888-989-WAVE, or go to greathealthywater.com. That's greathealthywater.com. Wave Home Solutions for a healthy, comfortable home. This is Biz Talk Radio, America's home for business talk. Online at biztalkradio.com. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825. Or john at gardenamerica.com. It is Garden America. Thank you so much for tuning in, whether you're listening on the radio, streaming, uh, BizTalk Radio, or a few people did hang in there on Facebook Live, so thank you. John at GardenAmerica.com. Questions, comments, also Facebook, 855-424-9825. But I want to get right back in, Tiger, with uh, Melinda, uh, because time is of the essence. Yeah, and she was just chatting with us about what she's been up to this fall, shooting some new videos for MelindaMyers.com. A little bit of frost, uh, too, she said. A uh, little bit of frost. She's trying to get out there and get the frost cloth frost, frost cloth cloth. <laughs> out to be able to make sure she's prepared. Um, Melinda, I, I don't want to cut you off, but I want. I, we saw something that I was really excited about a couple weeks back, John and I, when we were up visiting the Heirloom vegetable expo up in uh near napa and do you remember you would talk to us about hugel hugel culture hugel culture yeah yeah so i'm gonna load up a picture right now onto our facebook live feed for our listeners to be able to see and she was describing mulching with tree trunks large <laughs> branches just, Every, everything every, you, you think not to do yeah and they had a display at this heirloom vegetable expo of this type of growing. It, it was logs. It was, it was planting it, in logs. And had it not been for Melinda, we would have just walked by. But as soon as we, as soon as I thought, yeah. saw it, I said, "That's what Melinda was telling us about." Now, and, if you're if you're listening on the radio right now, you can go to our Facebook page because we got the problem fixed, and you can see what we're talking about. Yeah. But, I mean, if you're watching this on Facebook Live right now, you're seeing basically what looks like a tree fell over. And they're, right. like, and they're saying, let's just compost this, which seems unreasonable to us because it's going to take forever for it to break down. Yeah. But we understand the process that that idea is – it makes sense because they do create it, – it creates an ecosystem, right, Melinda? It creates an ecosystem down there, right? Exactly. And then if you're going to garden right away in it, you add some other compostables to it to have the short-term benefit while that decaying log provides the long-term benefit. And I was with you for many years. I thought, this does, this can't work. You know, we tell people don't work wood chips and wood into your garden soil because you'll temporarily tie up the nitrogen. And I was skeptical until I saw gardens growing and tried it myself. And the other nice part is long-term nutrient benefits 
but it also helps absorb moisture like a sponge. Probably when you touch a decaying log tree that's fallen down, you, you know, it's a sponge. It's absorbed the moisture as it's starting to decompose, so it provides moisture as well. It's a, it's a pretty uh, counterintuitive thing yeah. for many of us. A question for Melinda, too, on yeah. our Facebook page. Yeah, Lenore says that uh, I, I think this is because of your expertise with container planting, Melinda, that she asked this question. But she says, I bought a basket with beautiful succulents a little while ago, and they're now outgrowing the basket. What shall I do? Any suggestions from dear Melinda? <laughs> Aw, thank you, Lenore. And you, John, are the succulent guy with the cool book. So <laughs> uh, I, I feel like I'm stepping on your toes here. But as we both would agree that succulents put on a lot of top growth for minimal root growth. And a lot of times I see, I don't know about you, people transplanting too soon put a lot of potting mix or cacti and succulent mix more than the plant needs and end up with root rot because of all that soil that holds the moisture longer. Um, sometimes it's trimming, sometimes it is just going slightly larger. Um, that's always I find, I don't know about you, John, with any kind of indoor plant especially that you know, and people won't think they want to transplant. Let's go two, three times bigger so we don't have to do it very often. And that's where you run into problems. So I don't know. You probably have some other advice for Lenore, John? Well, one thing that um, I, just by coincidence on my back patio, we have a succulent planter that where my wife had made a fairy garden. And the succulents uh, have outgrown the, the pot just like uh, Lenore's. And what, all I do when they get too big because they start to grow outside the pot is I just cut them off, uh, right. cut, cut the tops off, let them sit there and callus over for a few days. And the parts that are left in the container will re-sprout. But you can take the ones that have calloused over and you can either put them back in the pot hmm. at a much lower level or, as Melinda is suggesting, uh, you know, start in another container but not too much soil. But you can just keep going and going and going. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And pruning is really hard for people. I think no matter what the plant is, we used to call it pruning paranoia when I was teaching. I'd send my students out on campus with pruners and just go, this is where you get over it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people get scared, huh? They do, definitely. All right, so Melinda, fall bulbs, what's, what's going on? You know, I think one of the one of the cool things, and, and again, I'm going to look to you guys for the expertise in those milder climates, but one of the things I think we often overlook is the impact those spring blooming bulbs can provide after winter, no matter where you live. And so fall is the time to plant. Sometimes it's early winter for those in milder climates, and some of you need to buy pre-cooled bulbs to get that spring beauty. But one of the things I like is to think about it not just, okay, I planted my tulips. That's what I grew up with. My mom would buy a bag of tulips, give them to my dad to plant, and that was our family's spring flowering bulbs display. But, boy, you can really extend that with a lot of the minor bulbs and things like I love winter aconites. They're early bloomers. They're great for those early season pollinators. I've had them bloom as early as March 4th, usually around tax day when I can have a little bit of relief, <laughs> from a little floral relief right after you write out that check. So it's a great way to extend your spring season, work off the winter blues, and Longfield Gardens has a really good bloom time guide to spring and summer bulbs. So as you're planting, you're planting this fall and early winter after we've had consistently cool nights, a hard freeze or two for those of us in colder climates. It's a great way to get a little help going, oh, I want some early season blooms, not just crocus, but there are early tulips, mid-season tulips and late spring tulips, early daffodils some of those minor bulbs I mentioned. And this is the year of the tulip. National Garden Bureau has declared 2018 the year of the tulip. And so it's a great way to just, if you're thinking about tulips, and I know animals can be an issue, so strategically plant them either in containers where it's harder for the animals to get to, do a little repellent. Melinda, can you stay with us? We have to take a break. Sure. Do you mind staying on top of the hour and then into hour two just for a little bit? No problem. Oh, Happy you're to so do it. you're so sweet. Thank you very much. We do appreciate that.
And those that are back joining us on Facebook, uh, Melinda's going to stay with us uh, for the first uh, few minutes of hour number two. Brian Maine, John Bagnasco, Tiger Palafox. News coming up on many of these affiliates. We are back at six minutes after. Stay with us. Listen on the go. Download the BizTalk Radio app. Available in iOS, Android, and BlackBerry. BizTalk Radio. The opinions you hear on BizTalk Radio are those of the hosts, callers, and guests, and do not necessarily reflect those of this station, BizTalk Radio, its management, or advertisers. The information on BizTalk Radio does not constitute a recommendation, offer, or solicitation to buy or sell any product or service. If you have any questions about BizTalk Radio, contact us at 817-274-1609 or at biztalkradio.com. This is Biz Talk Radio, America's home for... For USA Radio News, I'm Rick Vincent. Hundreds of people have died in the Indonesian earthquake and tsunami, but the number will continue to rise as more information becomes available. Jan Gelfand is with the International Red Cross in Jakarta. Major large earthquake that was only 10 kilometers deep and only 27 kilometers off of the coast. And so that, when you, you know, couple that with a massive uh, tsunami, is just a recipe for disaster. A video clip widely broadcast on Indonesian television showed water swallowing an entire row of buildings and gushing into streets as onlookers ran shrieking in terror. Rescue efforts are underway, though hampered by a major power cut. Two police officers have died following an early morning confrontation in Mississippi. Warren Strain with the Department of Public Safety said the officers died in an incident that occurred early Saturday in the city of Brookhaven. You're listening to USA Radio News. You remember how on the Phil Harris Show, Frankie Remley always knew a guy that could get you a deal, that could hook you up? Guess what? I'm that guy right now, and I'm going to do that for you. You've heard me talk about for the last year how my sleep's improved dramatically with my pillow. It really has changed my life. I want you to feel how great I feel. I'm hooking you up. If you go to MyPillow.com right now, you can get four pillows for about the price of a single MyPillow. How? Go to MyPillow.com, enter promo code USA, click on the four-pack special. You'll get two MyPillow premium pillows like I sleep on every night, two go-anywhere pillows that are travel size. You can take them anywhere. 100% machine washable, dryable, 10-year warranty, 60-day money-back guarantee. Try it. You don't like it. Return it. Why buy just one? When you can get the four-pack special, use my discount code USA. Go to 1-800-951-8175. Use promo code USA and do it now. Hurricane Rosa moved Friday off Mexico's Pacific coast with forecasters expecting its swells to affect the Southern California surf this weekend. Weather Prediction Center forecaster David Roth says the rain will be welcome across the southwestern U.S., but there could be flooding next week. For the drought, it's good, but these areas called burn scars that are left behind by fires for up to five years that just repel water. Rosa will weaken into a tropical storm or perhaps a tropical depression before it reaches Baja, Mexico on Monday. Senate Republicans have pushed Brett Kavanaugh's Supreme Court nomination past a procedural hurdle, but a confirmation vote remains delayed for at least a week amid a new FBI investigation into allegations of sexual misconduct. Senator Richard Blumenthal, a member of the Judiciary Committee, explains why the FBI investigation should include the additional accusers who have come forward. It will follow the facts and the law and the evidence where it leads them, and I think it has to lead them toward those additional allegations because they are part of that pattern. This is USA Radio News. Hi, this is Wayne Allyn Root. I'm a father of four and I worry every day about this dangerous world. There are so many things that could go wrong. Economic collapse, stock market crash, terrorist attack, war with North Korea. There's a lot to worry about when it comes to protecting your income, assets, and your family's future. Thankfully, my good friends at Tangible Investments are your safe haven from the storm. Call now and Tangible Investments will send you absolutely free a one-ounce American Silver Eagle along with your guide for investing in precious metals. To receive your free American Silver Eagle, call toll-free 800-780-9000. That's 800-780-9000. It's been a rough year for Facebook, and stocks have been dropping. Now they admit they've been hacked again. USA's Wendy King has more. Facebook says it doesn't know yet whether hackers who exploited a security breach have misused any of the 50 million user accounts' personal information. CEO Mark Zuckerberg. 
security is an arms race, and we're continuing to improve our defenses. And I think that this also underscores that there are just constant attacks from people who are trying to take over accounts or steal information from people in our community. Protesters clash with police in Barcelona as pro-independence demonstrators stage a counter-protest against police marching for better pay. Monday marks the first anniversary of an illegal referendum vote on independence for the region of Catalonia. The separatist-led government is asking Spain's central government for a binding vote on succession. Myanmar's government answered genocide accusations on the floor of the UN General Assembly Friday night. Government Minister Cha Tasui said in August report by the UN High Commission on Human Rights that accused Myanmar of genocide against the Muslim Rohingya minority is not based on evidence. More than 700,000 refugees have fled into Bangladesh since 2017. Tasui says Myanmar is working to repatriate the refugees. We have signed with Bangladesh three bilateral agreements. We have made necessary preparations in line with this bilateral agreement and have been ready to receive verified returnees from Bangladesh. For USA Radio News, I'm Rick Vincent. As a small business owner, there's one word that you absolutely dread, payroll. For small businesses, it's a big burden. You may think you're saving time and money doing it yourself. But come on, are you? Timesheets, processing checks, calculating taxes, a total waste of your time. Paychex simplifies payroll processing, saving you time and money. Submit your payroll online, fax it in, or call your dedicated Paychex payroll specialist. And you're done. Learn more at trypaychex.com. Come on, do the math. The IRS dishes out 8 million penalties a year. Make one mistake and you're on the hook. On average, you're losing nearly one business day every month doing payroll. That's time and money you'll never get back, unless you get paychecks. More than half a million small businesses already do. Call 877-649-5324. Trade payroll pressure for peace of mind. Call now. 877-649-5324. That's 877-649-5324. Welcome to the Garden America Show, the country's most listened to gardening program. This is your chance to join us as we talk about gardening, horticulture, landscaping, in fact, anything that has to do with the world of gardening. The phone lines are open right now at 1-855-424-9825. That's 1-855-424-9825 for your questions and comments. Or john at gardenamerica.com. And if you're watching us on Facebook Live, you can also post your questions and comments right there on our page during the broadcast. Now, here's Brian Maine, John Bagnasco, and Tiger Palafox on the Garden America Radio and Media Network. Right back here for our number two, six minutes after, to our friends on the East Coast. We say uh, good afternoon. Happy Saturday afternoon for the rest of us. Uh, still morning time, and we do appreciate you tuning in. Uh, listening uh, via streaming, BizTalk Radio, Facebook Live. Questions, comments, john at gardenamerica.com, Facebook Live, or 855-424-9825. And Melinda has been uh, nice enough to uh, yeah move into the second hour with us. Thank you, Melinda. Hey, Melinda, before we went, we went to break, you had mentioned the Longfield Gardens uh, Fall Bulb Planting Guide, and I was able to load that up for our Facebook viewers. It's it's in the right hand in the comments section. You can just click on the link, and it'll take you there. And I wanted to mention this because as I was cruising through it, one of the important parts of it, obviously it has good information about planting and general bulb care and varieties, but quality of bulbs. And yeah. people right. out there need to understand that when you go to buy bulbs, there is a big range in quality, and it has to do with size of bulbs. It has to do with, you know, they even talk about the firmness, meaning, you know, the bulb should be, you know, not squishy, but it, it's it, like picking up fruit in a produce stand. It, it is. It is. And I mean, this is such a great tip for people or great tips for people to have. Because when they're going to a store and they find bulbs, they're usually in a big bin. Yeah, exactly. And they're shopping through them. <laughs> they do need to go through it and pick it like fruit, right, Melinda? Oh, you bet. Because you're investing a lot of time, not only money to buy the bulb, but the time to put it in the ground. And it's a great mystery when you plant in fall to see if it's going to make it through till spring. And I think that's one of the appeals, of the appealing things about bulbs is it is that great thing. You put it in the ground, there's that act of faith we all have as gardeners when we plant anything. And then you're rewarded in spring 
if you buy good quality bulbs, you're increasing your chance of success for years of beauty. And once you've got years of it, they reproduce and they yeah. do well. But if you fail, you're not going to do it again. And so then people are going to wonder. They're not going to have any idea why they failed if that's the problem as far as picking out the wrong bulb. Right. Exactly. 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 And then getting them off to a good start, of course, you know, you're going to prepare your soil so you have good drainage because they really, mo almost all these bulbs need good drainage. And a lot of us don't, our soils aren't that way to start with. And then adding malorganite, of course, because it's low nitrogen and slow relief. And what you found too, Tiger, is I think what I see in my gardens and all the gardeners I chat with is malorganite provides that long-term benefit, that 85% organic matter in that bag of fertilizer feeds the soil as well as the plants, and it's that time release. So you don't push growth in the fall when you don't need it, but rather those nutrients are available in the spring, the nitrogen, and you've got some non-leaching phosphorus, so that's promoting root growth and flowering. So you've got the nutrients those plants need at the time they need them. And so that's that extra insurance, good quality bulbs, prepare your soil, and then give it that fertilizer to get it off to a good start. Awesome. Yeah, lots of good info. Melinda, what kind of things can people see on your website now? Because you said you've been working on some um, videos. Do you have some fall bulb videos up there? Do you have some, some you, good fall planting tips? You bet. We did a few things on Melinda's Garden Moments, and we just we do an e-newsletter once a month. So this last one just went out, so be sure to sign up. And we talked about fall planting. We've got a couple of videos on bulbs. We've got some audio tips. And I um, always love to hear from people that are visiting our site with suggestions or tips they want to share. We love to pass them along. So it's always fun. T try to provide timely tips, whether it's a video or to you as soon as we can. And in October 13th, people in Milwaukee can come and visit you at the Fall Home and Remodeling Show, right? You bet. And I'll talk about things we need to do in the fall to get ready for the next year, things that maybe plants that you ought to take a note that you want to be sure to add for that beautiful fall color, and then planting your bulbs, and then protecting those plants from the wildlife that will be sure to be hungry during those winter months. So just something <laughs> yeah. to get you through the end of the season. Ugh. Critters. Yeah, I, <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, and I feel your pain, Tiger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, Melinda, thank you very much for being so patient this morning, and thank you for joining us. I'm sure our listeners loved it. Oh, and great, information. great information. And you've got the link on our Facebook page as well, Tiger. Exactly. For those of you that are listening in the, on the radio and later on can go to your computer, right? all the information can go be found on our Facebook video link. So. so there you go. So thank you. All right, Melinda. Have a hey. good weekend. You guys, too. Thanks so much. Take care. Yeah, do appreciate Bye. it. And that's a good reminder, Tiger, as far as uh, anybody who wants to go back to our Facebook page, all the previous uh, videos of uh, previous shows are there, and you can always go back and get the information. Tiger mentioned the link that he, he put on uh, our page today. So if you're listening on the radio, as he mentioned, go back to our Facebook page. That will always be there. That will remain. Got it. So that's that. That's that. John. I wanted to remind our listeners that uh, I did get our upcoming tour to British Columbia and Alaska posted at GardenAmerica.com. So, so it's on the it's on the front page. It's on the front page if you want more information. And on the front page is a picture of Butchart Gardens. Pretty. And somebody uh, this week, a friend of ours, said we just got back from yeah. there last week. It, and they said it looked exactly like that picture. <laughs> and I talked to somebody in the building during the week who I, I thought had nothing to do with gardening. And they said, oh, yeah, we've been there. It's beautiful. And none of us have been there. No. So well, that's in British Columbia, John, or Victoria? That's British Columbia, right? W right. I think Victoria is in British Columbia. Victoria is the city in British Yeah, but I'm Columbia. that's what I'm saying. But I mean, but Victoria, we're taking the ferry out to an island, though, right? Okay. Okay. Well, I, there's a lot. There's a lot of people who are hearing this for the first time, and I'm trying to give them an, an idea of what uh, what to expect. Yeah. On, on this trip, so it's three days in Vancouver. I think we go to Victoria, and then from there we board the ship and then head up to Alaska. And a day by day itinerary is on the website. Is on the website. So go to GardenAmerica.com uh, for that and just about anything else. Also, too. Uh, if you don't get the newsletter, why? Yeah, why not? Why not? It's very simple. It gives you 
updates on what's happening the next show. We've got uh, John puts great articles in there. And it's pictures, free. And it's free. Yeah. And we don't share your information with them. Um, Anybody. We would like your charge card, though, just to make sure that you're old enough. To... No, we don't, ask. <laughs> we don't ask for your charge. Just keep it on file. So that's what's happening there. 855-424-9825. John at GardenAmerica.com. What is happening? It is time to get ready for fall, or at least uh, fall moving into uh, what will be the wintertime and after that springtime, so a lot still to do. Uh, Biz Talk Radio streaming, and, of course, uh, Facebook Live this morning, Brian Main, John Bagnasco, and Tiger Palafox. You know, this last week I pruned roses. Oh, fun. For the first time in two years. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of those you've left to go, right? Yeah, there were not obviously not the whole yard, but there were some some uh roses up on top that hadn't been pruned in two years that were and I don't think I'm exaggerating, uh eight to ten feet tall. Wow. Now didn't yeah. we talk about you know, roses grow wild anyway? Did they don't some people don't trim their roses or cut them back each year. They just let them go. Yeah, you, lazy people. You, you don't. You don't. <laughs> but a lot of a lot of people do. So I got to ask though, when you were pruning those large ones, mm-hmm. were you able to use hand pruners, or did you have to use loppers? I had to use a saw. <laughs> <laughs> really? So. On on I a few of so. them. On a few of them. Some oh. of the branches were really thick. Yeah. I mean, we're let's see, one inch. I would say an inch and a half diameter, maybe getting to two inches. On You're right. If you let roses go, the caliper of their branches I'm gonna, it's get gets tough, large, very strong and exactly. tough. Exactly. You know, I've got to, you, I don't, I believe you, John, because uh, this year, again, I'm getting roses that are about six feet easily. Green planet. The, um, I think of Pope John Paul. I think, uh, the wedding bells, all very tall roses. You know, my for some reason, my wedding bells is kind of short. Hmm. And I thought it was going to be a really tall, vigorous rose, and maybe it's just where it is. I don't know. Could be. Yeah. You, well, you saw you saw a picture of mine. It's doing very well. Yeah. You're doing uh, – your rose garden is wonderful. Even though you never promised me a rose garden, it ended up that way. Yeah. Are you getting uh, packed yet? Two yeah, we're, start, we're starting to – Two uh, weeks you're going to – Going to Hawaii. We're right. Going to Kauai, Dana and myself. So you need uh, shorts and uh, Got flip-flops. Em. Flip-flops and also those uh, little water booties. Oh, you're going to do some hiking? Tiger knows. Well, yeah, yeah. and kayaking and things like yeah, that. You yeah, know, they, yeah. got, they got the, the strong rubber bottom. Right. Their body glove. Yep. It fit right over your feet. Yep. Yeah, a lot of reefs, a lot of rocks. Oh, yeah. you got to yeah. be ready to walk. We're going to do as much as we can to answer your question. you got your puka shells, right? Yes, I do. <laughs> I absolutely do. All right, 16 minutes after the hour, things have kind of quieted down. I want to thank Melinda Myers for giving us that great information and being our guest today. So send us your questions, your comments at 855-424-9825, john at gardenamerica.com. You can also reach out on Facebook. We are back on Facebook Live. All is well. Looking forward to some more interesting graphics and pictures from Tiger Palafox as we step aside for these words. Do you love your home? Then show it some love at the Fall Home Garden Show this weekend at the Del Mar Fairgrounds. Tour hundreds of top quality home improvement exhibitors offering special show savings. Buy amazing plants direct from local growers. Plus, enjoy informative free seminars where you really do meet the experts. Come to the Fall Home Garden Show this weekend at the Del Mar Fairgrounds. Entertaining, innovating, fascinating, educating. The Fall Home Garden Show. Hi, this is gardening expert Melinda Myers. Keep diet. Nutrient-rich Melorganite feeds the soil and plants for up to 10 weeks. The non-burning, non-leaching formula provides a slow and consistent flow of nutrients. Trust the fertilizer proven effective for over 90 years. Melorganite for better results. Visit Melorganite.com for a garden center near you. Have you written a book and want to get it published? Then call Page Publishing at 800-557-6095 immediately. That's 800-557-6095. Page Publishing is looking for authors of all types of books. And unlike most publishers, Page Publishing will take the time to review each and every book submitted to them and give you their feedback. If they like what they read, they'll get your book into bookstores and for sale online at Amazon, the Apple iTunes Store, Barnes & Noble, and other outlets. They handle everything. Editing, cover design, copyright protection, printing, publicity, and distribution. 
So if you've written a novel, children's book, cookbook, inspirational work, poetry, or a biography and want to get it published, then you need to call Page Publishing and do it immediately. Call 800-557-6095 now for your free author submission kit. Again, for your free author submission kit, call 800-557-6095. That's 800-557-6095. Your road to fame and fortune could very well start with this simple phone call. Call Page Publishing at 800-557-6095 for your free author submission kit. Do you have an idea for an invention or new product? Do you think companies would be interested in your idea? Do you want to try to get a patent? Then call InventHelp now. InventHelp keeps your idea confidential and explains every step of the invention process. We create professional materials representing your idea and submit it to companies who are looking for new ideas. We have more than 9,000 companies who have agreed to review ideas in confidence. If a company shows interest in manufacturing your invention, we can negotiate on your behalf. We have helped over 10,000 clients receive patents. We also offer services including 3D modeling and animation demonstrating your idea, prototyping services, and we use state-of-the-art technology to show InventHelp client ideas to additional companies. Join the thousands of people just like you who chose InventHelp to pursue their idea. We are experienced. We are working for you. We are InventHelp. Call us for free information at 1-800-607-8945. That's 1-800-607-8945. Again, 1-800-607-8945. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-285-4765 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-285-4765. Again, 800-285-4765. This is Biz Talk Radio, America's home for business talk. Online at biztalkradio.com. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825. Or john at gardenamerica.com. And that brings our time to uh, just about 21 minutes after the hour. Back with Brian Main, Tiger Palafox, John Bagnasco. On this Saturday, hope you're having a good day so far. Thank you for uh, sharing part of your weekend with us. Biz Talk Radio streaming, john at gardenamerica.com. And, of course, uh, Facebook Live for questions and comments. As uh, we've gone in many directions today, again, want to thank Melinda Myers from Alorganite. We have those uh, links on our Facebook page. Uh, and they'll remain there, too. So if you want to go back later on and check it out, uh, you're welcome to do so. Hey, so for those of you that are subscribers of our newsletter, yes, I love the image from Susan. And at the bottom of our newsletters, we always post pictures that people sure. send in to us. And it says DIY fish fertilizer. And it's Susan. She went on a fishing trip. What? What? what Cabo what San that? Lucas. Is that? that that's that's it's a, red. Um, oh, I thought she had a she had a. Um, I don't know what the red fish is, but she had a mahi mahi in, in one of the one of, them? one of the pictures, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Well, these ones are red. I wonder what kind of fish they yeah, are. Yeah. Shit. That. What a great day. Yeah. Talk about luck. Yeah. Fisherman's luck. Could be goldfish. Could be. Aren't gold. goldfish red? The goldfish can get big, but those are those could be hot, red snapper, maybe. It, may, that's what I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I mean, it's my obvious. I yeah, don't if know somebody fish. know. Somebody knows. Let us know because yeah. we've got the pictures posted on our newsletter and on our Facebook page. Oh, they as are well. on the Facebook. page Yeah, I put them. Well. If, if you scroll down, I put them in last week. Okay. Um, I was going to mention that it's it's a, supposed to be a great fishing year with the warm water that's been off. In the Pacific and all of that, it's supposed to been just like everywhere, amazing everywhere. That's yeah, as good. far as fishing wise, so that's neat. Good for Absolutely. her. Absolutely. I have a few emails. One is from Keith. 
Keith in Point Loma right here in San Diego. Yes, and he says, hello, John, Brian, and Tiger. I planted my – oh, I'm sorry. This one's from Steve. I'll get to Keith after that. Steve and Simi Belly. Yep. He says, I planted my Spanish Roja garlic three weeks ago, and it hasn't started sprouting yet. Should I water it a little more? Thanks again, Steve. Is three weeks enough time? You know, I would think that it should have started uh, coming up by now. Depends how dry you're keeping it. You don't, if it's a heavy soil, you don't want to keep it wet because until it starts growing, it, it, it'd just, be easy for the, the uh, garlic bulb to rot. Right, because the heavy soil is going to yeah, retain you don't want the that water. To happen. Right. So I would keep the soil evenly moist. Um, if, if you have a soil that drains really well, then you don't have to worry about it as much as if you have a heavy clay. But the weather is starting to cool down a little bit, and it's the mm-hmm. time that it should begin growing, Steve. Wouldn't hurt to dig up one of those bulbs and see if it started to root. Or, you know, maybe just try to pull one and see if it uh, doesn't come up because it's rooted. Now, in a situation like that, if he had HB 101, would that be a good idea? to see if well, it can, uh... HB 101 is always a good idea on anything. Uh, yeah, it's, ne- because it's, it's never, used... yeah, never not a good idea. Right, it's used for rooting cuttings even. Yeah. So it would definitely help. You just water in with uh, the HB 101. You know, you know, with the HB 101, we've been having a lot of problems across the board with properties with the Pittosporum silver sheen. Mm-hmm. For some reason, during all the time during this time of year, they begin to get overwatered and they have a root rot issue. Yeah, that's really common on Pittosporum. Yeah, and what we found was if we see that happen real quickly, number one, cut cut off the water so it begins to dry out Mm -hmm. but number two is we drop the hb101 slash hydrogen peroxide mix Mm -hmm. and it seems to stop it if you can catch it right away if if it's crispy and dead (laughs) it's not bringing it back this is not the resurrection it doesn't doesn't work on resurrection (laughs) you know but if you because what you'll have is this hedge of silver sheens usually and you'll see one in the middle of that hedge just show a sign of stress. And as soon as you see that sign of stress, if you take that HB101 hydrogen peroxide mix and drop it on there and then cut off the water so it begins to dry out, it usually recovers. So I've been really hmm. happy with the performance when it comes to that. It's amazing what that stuff does. A couple of things. The graphic. Yeah. And then we have a caller. We Whoa. have a Lila is standing by. Lila, thank you so much for calling at 855-424-9825. How can we help you this morning? And uh, good morning to you. Good morning. I was wondering what has happened to all the chrysanthemums that we used to see. I always used to get a a beautiful single-petaled maroon chrysanthemum every year. And for the last, I don't know, seven or eight years, I haven't been able to find it. And I'm just wondering, and I don't see as many varieties and different kinds as I <laughs> used to see. Uh, <laughs> Home Depot is, yeah, what, was, is what's happened oh, to chrysanthemums. Such a bummer. And so, what oh. does that what does that mean? Well, yeah. well, I'll explain what's happened. Um, when there were a lot of independent garden centers around, uh, people would uh, plant their mums in the fall. Mm-hmm. And in different parts of the country, that would be different times of the year that they would be putting them in. When Home Depot came to, and I'm not blaming Home Depot, yeah, it's, it, it's but a, it's it's a chain store type exactly. mentality. Sure, yeah, right. Like a Lowe's or any, any place else. Right. Yeah. When they came to California, they told their growers, we want to be the first ones in the market with mums. So they started bringing mums in. In August. And August in Southern California is way too hot. The hottest month of the year almost. Right. And the only mums that would flower and have any chance of survive, of surviving it at all, were the little tiny flowered cushion mums. So that's all that the growers they would grow, grow. And they stopped growing all the other mums. Yeah. And, and because of that, the growers who produced those larger mums kind of disappeared yeah and went out of business and all that's left now and what's controlling the market are those those cushion mums if you go into a chain store right now Mm -hmm. in southern california you'll probably see a big basket of 
mums with a million flowers that are little tiny things. Yeah. But if you go to my yard, <laughs> <laughs> you'll see see uh, big mum plants that are just starting to set their buds now, and they'll have huge flowers when they do bloom. And so, Lila, you know, to kind of come back to this is that, you know, for those of us that have independent garden centers, we do try to bring in those varieties. But as John mentioned, sometimes we just the, the growers have gone away and they just yeah. there's nobody to get them from nowadays. So your best bet is to, number one, you know, shop a, a garden center, not, you know, them. And you might be able to find them. But right. to say, you know, also it's and it's where we all move nowadays is when you can't find them elsewhere online so because, independent garden center would that be a place to start for her right? yeah definitely because they're going to have varieties but also understand that they're going to be later like john had mentioned yeah you're not going to start right. to see those break into the market until october and which people, is when you should which is what you should yeah that's like when people buy tomatoes right now because they're in the store that's not the right thing to do and yeah. the and mums we, are going to be october and we've got to take a quick break but if you can hold on lila i've got yeah. a uh, a tip for you to get some of those yeah. mums you're looking beautiful for. hang on lila john's got that tip for you and anybody else who wants to uh, pick up the phone like lila did at 855-424-9825 but you can also email john that's john at gardenamerica.com facebook live up and running we'll take your questions or comments I'm Brian Main, Tiger John. We are coming right back. Do you have an idea for an invention or new product? Do you think companies would be interested in your idea? Do you want to try to get a patent? Then call InventHelp now. InventHelp keeps your idea confidential and explains every step of the invention process. Join the thousands of people just like you who chose InventHelp to pursue their idea. We are experienced. We are working for you. We are InventHelp. Get started with your idea. Call for free information. Call 1-800-607-8945. That's 1-800-607-8945. Do you want to take the great shows of BizTalk Radio wherever you go? Well, now you can with the new BizTalk Radio app for iPhone and Android devices. Now all the great shows of BizTalk Radio are with you wherever you go, just an arm's reach away on your smartphone. Download today at the App Store or the Google Play Store and get the brand new BizTalk Radio app. It's biz for you wherever you go with the new BizTalk Radio app. I live alone and rarely have visitors. So when I slipped and fell in the kitchen last month and couldn't get to a phone, I knew I was in trouble. Help! I could barely move. Help! I tried calling for help, but no one could hear me. As I lay there, I couldn't help but think of my kids and grandkids having to go on without me. I was terrified. It took eight hours for my neighbor to find me. It could have been the end of me. That's when I knew I needed life alert. With just one press of this button, I'm connected to the Life Alert Center, where I can get the help I need, even when I cannot reach a phone. With Life Alert, I'm never alone. Call 1-800-414-1958 for your free Life Alert brochure. That's 1-800-414-1958. 1-800-414-1958. Call for your free Life Alert brochure today at 1-800-414-1958. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us if you want Viagra at the lowest prices. Never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-521-9579 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-521-9579 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-521-9579. That's 1-800-521-9579. Again, 1-800-521-9579. Here's important new information from the Diabetes Solution Center for you, a family member, or a loved one suffering with diabetes. If you have lost your provider or if you need a provider for diabetic supplies, you may qualify to receive your diabetic testing supplies now with little or no out-of-pocket cost, regardless of your age. 
All you need is Medicare or private insurance to be potentially eligible. Call the Diabetes Solution Center right now for details. Just takes a couple of minutes. Our friendly, knowledgeable agents will give you free, no obligation information, handle all the insurance paperwork, and make sure your supplies are delivered directly to your door for free. Call U.S. Medical Supply 24 hours a day. 800-597-9323. 800-597-9323. 800-597-9323. Call right now. 800-597-9323. Balance of Nature's Fruits and Veggies in a Capsule. Thousands of doctors, health specialists, and professionals recommend Balance of Nature as a way of improving their health. Listen to a few unsolicited success stories from doctors that use Balance of Nature as well. Scientific research has shown that many cancers and lifestyle diseases can be prevented with a diet rich in fruits and vegetables. This prevention comes from the phytochemicals in the plants. I take Balance of Nature because I know, I've seen it in my lab and I know that it works. I've seen the immune response increase, I've seen your DNA repair capacity increase and I've seen DNA protection. And that to me as a scientist rings so true. For a limited time, use discount code RADIO6 to receive a 50% discount on your first preferred whole health system and have it shipped to you free. Call 1-800-246-8751 or go online to balanceofnature.com. Again, use discount code RADIO6. This is Biz Talk Radio, America's home for business talk. Online at biztalkradio.com. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825. Or john at gardenamerica.com. 35 minutes after the hour, right back here on uh, Garden America, John Bagnasco, Tiger Palafox, Brian Maine. As we continue, and I think we still have, um, do, who do we have? Do, Lila. Er, Lila, Lila, yes. Lila and Poway about garden we, mums. Because you had sm- more information her. about uh, trying to find some. Yeah, what I wanted to let her know is the if she's looking for a specific type of mm-hmm. mums, and I'm talking about the old football mums, the huge flowers, large single flowers. Oh, yeah. Fuji mums. Um, oh, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just all kinds of things. You can order them online at kingsmums.com. So if you go to kingsmums.com, mm-hmm. they ship uh, between, I think it's March to June, and they ship small plants, and you start those in your garden at that time. Mm-hmm. And by the time fall comes along, You're- mums grow really fast. You've got you know, big mums uh, that are producing lots of flowers. If you want the large flowers, uh, when they put out the buds, you have to remember to disbud them, pull the little ones off on the side and leave the one in the center. Um, but anyway, I I think you'll be surprised at the variety they have. And everything that I've ever bought from them uh, grew quickly and did really well. Well, thank you. But now I have to wait till next fall. Yeah. <laughs> well, you've got all, yes, you do have to wait till next fall, but you've got uh, all fall and winter to look at all the varieties and decide the ones you want. <laughs> gar- gardening does yeah. require patience. Gar- gardening back in the day. Remember, you had to wait for the catalog to come yeah, out. Yeah, I don't know and... if you heard the first part of the show because we had some problems, Lila, but <laughs> I was talking about how I finally have buds on my blue amaryllis after 12 years. <laughs> 12 years. So if I can wait 12 years to get a flower bud, um, you can wait till next fall. <laughs> okay. Oh. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks, Lila. You bet, Lila. We appreciate the call. And again, uh, what okay, else bye-bye. is okay? Bye bye. Um, we... Well, we have uh, we have a few emails we didn't get through. Let's get let's get to the emails then. Okay, we had the one that was from Keith, and Keith says, uh, "When do I start looking for ranunculus bulbs in San Diego? They should be out now, shouldn't they, Tiger?" Uh, we are going to get them next week. Next week. Yes. Okay. So, because the time to plant them is usually in October. Correct. So, uh, Tiger says, uh, if yeah, you're they, looking yeah, at, I mean, at Mission Hills Nursery, look next week. Yeah. But, uh, I you would imagine. You should be seeing them. Yeah. Okay. You, they should really start soon. appearing in stores. Yeah, exactly. You know, and it goes back to that idea of, 
you know, for us, we try to wait at least until there's a chance that the season is changing and we're right. getting into that right. proper time. And of it's, year. It's, it's much more difficult here in this part of the country because we don't really have seasons. Yeah. And I mean, the worst thing is, is for instance, we talk about fall veggies. If we get a 90 degree Santa Ana, right. those fall veggies just get demolished. Yeah. And yeah. it is so heartbreaking to see that because you're like, oh, it's October. I see pumpkins, you know, pumpkin spice latte at Starbucks. It's fall. Yeah. But it happens where we get these super hot, dry winds blowing through. And, and that can those, happen in November. Yeah. And those fall veggies hate that. Yeah. Just absolutely difficult. hate that. I do notice in the vegetable departments in some of the the box stores, huge selections of tomatoes and peppers. Uh-huh. And yep, I've seen the same thing. I would just mention to our listeners that that's virtually a waste of time this time <laughs> of year. There's no reason to plant them. They're just not going to not going to grow. I mean, there's a possibility if you live right on the coast that they'll make it through the winter, but I would say for most of San Diego County it would be a complete complete waste of time. Yep. Yeah. Our buddy Jimmy in Oceanside sent a note says, hi, John, Brian, and Tiger. And then goes, uh, hey, guys, Butcher Gardens is beautiful, but don't buy the blue poppy seeds. Hope you're all well, Jimmy. All right. Now, for those that are wondering, we are taking a trip next year <laughs> to, to British Columbia, uh, on to Victoria, and into Alaska on a cruise. So what is he referring to, John, when he says that? Well, I think there was – we even talked about about a book that Frank Kin- Kingdon Ward wrote called The Search for the Blue Poppy uh, back in, I think it was the late 1800s. Mm. Not Before sure. He, I wasn't around then. He was, yeah. he was one of the plant hunters, famous plant hunters. And in the Himalayas, or Himalayas, depending on which you prefer. Oh, very good. The, uh, the famous blue poppy grew. And everybody wanted to get it. And he brought it back to England, and, and it's grown in England. Uh, I think we saw the blue poppy in gardens in Scotland when we were there. And up in Alaska, they do fine. British Columbia, they do fine. Yep. But they're not going to do – they won't even <laughs> grow in, in California. And that was – Jimmy yeah. was probably – Jimmy, letting us know, probably from experience, knows uh, don't don't try. Don't don't. No buy matter it. how tempted you are, and the blue poppy is probably one of the world's most beautiful which, flowers. Um, which is what suckers people into wanting to buy it, and then yeah, depending upon where you live, it's yeah, it's just too hot down here. I can grow it. No, uh, just kidding. <laughs> I would. That's the, I that's would. Come, everybody, they, every, it sees it as a as a challenge. Yeah. Well, you know, John and I are a little bit. We have a little rebel in us. We. I bought, I've bought blue poppy seeds before. We've, yeah. we've tried things that this, people say it's not going to work. And right. 50-50, sometimes it does. But what's $4 for a package of seeds right. worth to try, right? I think mm-hmm. the blue poppy seeds might have been more expensive than that. Really? Yeah. Oh. Just because they're Mac- blue, blue poppies. Right. And they're actually, I'm trying to think, they're uh, the genus poppies, uh, papaver. Papaver. And I think that uh, blue poppies are Mechanopsis. So they're really not in the same genus, even though it, it does look like a blue poppy. All right. You got another question? Uh, no, you put the King's Mum link up on, on the yeah. fa- Facebook, though, so that was nice. Yeah. So for those of you that were listening about Lila's question to find mums, and you know, it's a bummer. I mean, but we see this across the board, and I, I don't want to sound like we're bagging on chain or box stores. No, but that's just the, it's, the reality it's, it's of it. It's the reality of it that when a company is trying to do business and their biggest customer demands a certain product a certain way, mm-hmm. well, you know, they can only do so much. And, you know, we see this with food. I mean, you go to the grocery store, there's only three to four varieties of tomato. There's one variety of banana. There's maybe two varieties of orange. But in reality, there's, there's, so, much more. there's so much more than that. But Well, that's why you have to do your homework. You know, it, it, like, like John gave the background on the blue poppy, things like that. You, you need yourself to, to look into things 
that you might have a question about. Is this the right time of the year? Why are they selling something in you know during this month when I've been told that they only really do well during these months? Things like that. Exactly. So, I mean, it's just you know kind of familiarizing yourself. But I mean, the the nice thing about it, the, the hard part about it as an independent garden center is that even if I wanted some of that stuff, I couldn't find it to be able to sell. So that's disappointing for us for our customers. But there are wonderful companies out there like the um, King's Mums. Um, what, uh, what was the Canna company that we Horns. talked? Horns Canna. Horns yeah. Canna's, yeah. Um, Horns Canna Farm. You know, the tropical, what's the tropical company that you know in Florida? Oh, that's um, Top Tropical. Top, Top Tropicals, Tropicals with Tatiana, right? You know, and, <laughs> yes, you know, with Tatiana Anderson. Her- Heritage Roses. I mean, they're, they're filling that gap yeah. where – for those of you that are looking for things out there, you can find them. You just have to be patient because it's right. seasonal, a little computer savvy, and then willing to start from bulb, seed, yeah. tuber, bare root. You know, well, didn't we talk about that. this a couple of weeks ago? How the mindset of a lot of people has changed. That people used to buy a lot of seeds and they had the patience to plant something and let it, you know, come to fruition itself. And now people want to go to the store and they want to buy something that's already established to some degree. So it gets back to this have, being patient and, yeah. and wait for, the, the you know, whatever your ultimate goal is, sometimes you're going to have to wait a while. Yeah. We're all moving towards instant gratification. <clears throat> you mm-hmm. know, it's, it's, it's just that I think way. I've told this story before, but the first time I went to New Zealand, I was surprised <clears throat> going into a garden center that all the bedding plants they sold were just green. And... I asked, you know, I'm surprised I don't see anything with flowers on it. And they said, well, occasionally they'll get flowers, but we throw those away because it's just way too, they're past their prime. You don't want to plant them right. at that stage. Yep. Oh, how about Where that? if you go into a garden center here, it's no one will blue. buy it unless it has a flower on right. it. Right. Okay, break time. We have one more segment coming up. Plenty of time for your questions and comments at 855-424-9825. John at GardenAmerica.com. I think this, um, Kathy's got a question. Did we address Kathy's question? She's on Facebook Live. And if not, we will do that when we come back. Stay with us. It is 45 minutes after the hour. This is Garden America. Do you love your home? Then show it some love at the Fall Home Garden Show. This weekend at the Del Mar Fairgrounds. Tour hundreds of top exhibitors offering special show savings by amazing direct from local growers plus enjoy informative free seminars where you really do meet the experts come to the fall home garden show this weekend at the del mar fairground entertaining innovating fascinating educating the fall home garden show Everything is coming up roses in San Diego from October 25th to 29th. Lance Walheim here, and I'm honored to be the keynote speaker at the National Convention of the American Rose Society. BioAdvance and Heirloom Roses will be co-sponsoring the 18th annual Save the Roses auction, along with the rose show, speakers, and festivities of the American Rose Society. So join me at the San Diego Crown Plaza Hotel and Convention Center, and go to GardenAmerica.com and check the homepage for links to registration and event schedule. We paid less for our Craftmatic today than we did 20 years ago. If you're still searching for the perfect solution to a good night's sleep, call now for prices and free information on today's Craftmatic adjustable beds. And then decide when you see how little they cost. Rated number one by consumers nationwide on ConsumerAffairs.com. Craftmatic beds come in all mattress types, including cool gel memory foam for up to 50% less than today's leading memory foam brand. Enjoy temporary relief of low back pain, poor circulation, nighttime I'm heartburn, mild arthritis. You'll sleep better in a Craftmatic adjustable bed. So if you're still searching for the perfect solution to a good night's sleep, call now for prices and information. And then decide when you see how little they cost. Discover Craftmatic for less, up to 50% less than today's leading memory foam brand. Call 1-800-316-5271. That's 1-800-316-5271. 1-800-316-5271. Call now. Attention investors, good names in the financial services industry are not evaluating if there will be a significant market downturn, but when. 
Higher interest rates and prospects of a trade war suggest the stock market is headed into a perilous direction. Subprime mortgages, which are back, could potentially devastate the real estate market as they did before. And with stocks simply overdue for a fall after this second longest bull run in history, even bullish analysts are recognizing these indicators that equities are in big trouble and have projected stock market losses up to 40%. You can protect your IRA or 401k for maximum safety and opportunity with physical gold and silver, as they are assets that remain genuine stores of value no matter what's happening in the marketplace. Call Augusta Precious Metals today at 855-858-5806 to get your free guide to precious metals investing. Call Augusta Precious Metals today.
this year, and it's called Because She Served, and it honors the women in military service. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Now, are we expecting several new roses this year during the auction? We are expecting roses. Ping's got to have some new roses yeah, this year. There'll be, you know, a lot of the roses are older roses that are no longer on the market. Mm -hmm. Other roses are roses that are just hard to find. And then there are some that are being sold new this year yeah, because she served as one. And then mm -hmm. Ping. Um, I have two roses being offered that just came out this year. I saw that. Uh, Kendall Marie and sure. Emiko. Yep. And then uh, I'm trying to think if there's any others. If you want to see what they are, you can just go to go to ccrsauction.com. I'm still waiting for you to name a rose after me, which you promised me years ago that you were going to work I on I have that. some bad news for you. What's that? There is a new rose being sold in Europe called Scent of a Woman. Oh. <laughs> you waited too long, didn't you? It's actually called Scent of, of Woman. Yeah, but that's still. Yeah. It's, that's too close for. I know. I'll come up with another one. That was a great name. Why did we wait on that one? I mean, I'm not going to get my star we on the Hollywood it. Walk of Fame. We I can at least get wait. a rose named yeah, after we did, we did. We really didn't wait. I told Star Roses about that name and that they, if they had a fragrant rose, they could use it. But they didn't come up with anything. I didn't have anything that I could use it for. It was should have should have gone to a good rose. I don't know. We'll have to. It's a good name. Deserved a good rose. Yeah. Just like my potting soil that never happened. The uh, happy medium. Yep. It did happen. Yeah, but went out of business. <laughs> <immediately>. <laughs> well, obviously they were. It was not happy, and there might not have been enough medium. So, yep. yeah. <laughs> we. I think I told you this story before. I don't know why this popped in my head, but you know when your old stories from your youth just pop into your sure, head. Sure, of course. And uh, we had gone to. I think we went to uh, a restaurant when I was. Be on my way to college, my parents drove me to Ann Arbor. I went to the University of Michigan my first year. Stopped in a restaurant on the way, and my younger brothers were with us. And we went around and we ordered hamburgers. Mm -hmm. And I think the only place he had ever had hamburgers was at fast food outlets. Who's he? My brother, Tom. Oh, okay. And... So went around and uh, they asked us what we wanted, and they asked how we wanted it, and so each one of us went around and and uh, started with me. I said medium, my mom, dad, same thing, medium. Came to my brother. He goes, "I'll take a large." <laughs> <laughs> oh my he God. had never been anywhere where anyone asked him how he wanted his hamburger. You just ordered it, and you always got it. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll have a I'll have a large. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay, waning moments here. John Tiger, we've got to talk about our trip. The trip, the itinerary, is posted on our homepage, GardenAmerica.com. Uh, we've got links to all the things, a lot of things we talked about this morning, also on our Facebook page. And uh, let's see what else. Um, and this is July 2019, our trip that uh, will take us to Vancouver, Victoria, and a cruise to Alaska. Yeah, with great great rooms, all hey, ocean view rooms. People are saying that there's no audio on Facebook. Fixed. It's fixed. Got it. Yeah, it comes and goes. <laughs> we stop talking. It just, doesn't work. Just no. like the seasons. Yeah, exactly. I'm sorry, I interrupted you. No, you no, were, no, we we were talking we were about talking the trip about Alaska, and and the yeah. uh, we got ocean view um, balcony rooms, right, John? That's right. Yeah. The And then anybody that wants to go to Kauai with you in two weeks. Oh, yeah, we're leaving in two weeks. Yeah. Or if you're going to be there between certain <laughs> dates, uh, let me know, and then maybe we can hook up real quick. But we're going to be real busy. We're going to relax. And you know it's great because we leave early in the morning. It's a five-hour flight, so we should get in there by 3 o'clock, but Hawaii time is going to be 12.15. Exactly, so you hit the ground running. Absolutely. Hey, thank you so much, especially those that hung in uh, during the first hour, got things all uh, fixed. Uh, next week, flawless. Oh yep. boy, did I just jinx this? No, yes, don't, don't believe you in did. that. Hey, for the for the entire crew, I want to thank Brandon, 
uh, Zach, Jeremiah, John Vegnasco, Tiger Palo Fox. I'm Brian Maine. Hey, get growing America. Take care. See you next week. Bye-bye. Listen on the go. Download the BizTalk radio app. Available in iOS, Android.